Well, thanks for joining us today as we look at the 2023 award-winning Hyundai Ionic 6. That's award-winning for 2023, but we also have a 2022 award winner, the Hyundai Ionic 5. Which, five, five, hello? Five, where's the five? This, excuse me one second. Do I have to do everything around here? Now, where was I? Oh yeah, we're gonna look at, not yet, it's not your time yet. Hold on, just chill, chill out. Shh, you're done, thank you. I'll get to you. <clears throat> Sorry. As I mentioned, we're going to be looking at the 2023 Hyundai Ionic 5 as well as the 6. And there are so many similarities and yet so many distinctive differences between the two that we're just going to highlight them briefly for you, take them for a spin and see what you think. See which vehicle you might prefer. Right up front, the first thing you can't help but appreciate is the Ionic 5 is an SUV. For those of you new to our channel, that's a sport utility vehicle in style, shape, form, and function. While the 6 is more of a four-door sport coupe. So they're going to appeal to different tastes, and they're going to have different driving characteristics and, and a different feel to a certain degree. But the interesting thing is they both share the same platform and they both share the same battery pack as well as all-wheel drive and the same performance characteristics and mileage. That is mileage range, drivability. So there are very many similarities, but you can see the differences like up front with the front grille, you've got the, the, the squared off headlights that are in white and the pixelated amber lights. And we're gonna talk a lot about the pixelization. Pixelization everywhere on these vehicles. They both have a distinctive style to them. The five is more of a futuristic SUV look, more of the, that electric vibe all the way around. Whereas, well, for some people that wouldn't know this was full electric, they might think it's just a regular, you know, gasoline powered vehicle. But as you look at them, you can see that the wheels on the five are gonna be more, you know, uh, slim lined, electronically designed, yeah. Where the rims on the six are very simple. But some of the things that you see similar that are also very cool are the door handles. So cool, they pop out and when you lock the vehicle, cha-cha-cha-ching, they pop in. Now you notice this is the top of the line limited edition and this is the SEL. So the trim levels are gonna be a little bit different, but we'll talk all about that as far as that's concerned. So the rear of the Ionic 5 and Ionic 6 are just as distinctive as the front areas are. So we're gonna take a look under the frunks, in the trunks, as well as inside, and see what you think. Well, here we go. One of the biggest differences between the six and the five, this is the frunk. Little storage area, but now wait. Look at the five. Check this out. Basically same frunk, but I got a cover on it. In the back, you'll notice that you have the broad taillights with the pixelation across it. That's kind of the theme again. And you'll have that in the six as well, similar. You have your rear spoiler where the six has two, but this is one of the big differences when you get right down to it. When you open up this hatch, you're gonna note that you do have your basic privacy cover here giving you a trunk. But the beautiful thing about that is you can take that out and now you've got a lot more cargo space. You still have your power sources back here, things of that nature. Down here, you've got nothing but room for your cables and a tire mobility kit, but it's when you pop the seats down, that's the difference.
This is what I'm talking about. Lots and lots of useful cargo space in this Ionic 5. All right, as nice as this is, even with the 60-40 split folding seats down in the six, it's just not the same. All right, I'm gonna show you two of the biggest differences between the five and the six. They may not be important for you, but uh, they do come in handy. You have a slide and glide rear seat, and you can also recline a bit in the back seat for those long trips, and that's pretty cool. And if the sun is in your face, with our limited Ionic 5, you got a shade. So you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something, but I'm, gonna show, I'm, I'm getting tired. I'll show it to you in a couple minutes. This is something, again, the six can't do. I'm extending my thigh support just a little bit, uh, and then I can just take it back. Take it all the way. Charge away, baby. Charge away. All right. Well, I have to admit, I love, truly love the interior of the Ionic 6. It is spacious. It's got the low floor, just like the 5, but it just feels more modern and roomy inside. But the thing it can't do is the back seats can't glide forward and you can't recline. So it's not a deal breaker, but what do you think? Can you help me out with this? Um, this thing right here, it looks like a button, but it's not. It looks like a cover, but it looks like it opens the trunk. So I'm not sure, is that like an emergency trunk release? If I pop this out and the back trunk won't open or you know, little Bobo's locked in the back there, I gotta open it up to save them. Maybe that's what it is. Because a lot of the trunks, they did used to have, you know, the releases in the back. Maybe that's a, a little Bobo and Bobette release button. All right, so I tell you what, uh, enough of this back seat. Let's get in the front seat and take it for a spin, shall we? All right. Ionic 6, here we go. <sighs> yeah. 